Hello everybody, welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign. My name is Bane Pope. This is obviously Total War Attila. And we left off kind of after capturing this town here. Dear Hachim, I was gonna change the name of it because it's hard to pronounce, but I don't know, maybe it's kind of growing on me. Um, I have two sort of important things that I have to um, look at. And one thing is um, I have to do something about the siege, but I don't have the forces. And the Cthulians have two armies there, so I um, can't really do much about it. I have one somewhat beat up army. And the other thing is that um, Sirmium is really the only place that I had a uh, it wasn't even a military thing it's more like a yeah it was it was even um, an industry spot where I could get uh, Germanic warbands and pikemen and that's kind of my only <coughs> excuse me recruiting spot so um, we have to get ourselves a military building um, I do want to get uh, this this has pretty good growth, so I'm gonna get the granary here when I have the money. Where's the granary? Right there. And then after that, um, hopefully I can get a military building here. Um, though it's like kind of weird, cause let's see, military. Standardized equipment. It feels like this is all horde mode buildings. Why oh, didn't I look at that before? That's migrating. Okay, artisans. So from the um, so, excuse me, industry buildings, you get some um, people, but let's see, settlement, town, city, farming, civic. Obviously, there's probably not much there. Industry, military. There's only migrating military. So let me look at this here. City, religion, town, religion, sanitation. Shouldn't have anything. Ports, resources. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get my military. I didn't know that. I just kind of looked at it. <laughs> also, um, before I c finish this turn, I want to <coughs> show you guys the... Um, Okay, so first the neighbors here, the Lugians, have captured the other town of the other town in Dacia. So they have money for that. Their uh, their strength ranking is sixteen. Um, I already tried. You are welcome. Although my ancestors and people expect trade. talk with purpose See, it's and honesty. Low level of uh, low level of success for for trading with them. Uh, likely they won't accept. Um, and the thing that's bugging me is that uh, I'm considered a great power already. Uh, see, the, they condemn great power. So it's minus 40. Religion, you know, treaties with other nations, I understand that. That's fine. Minus one or two. But minus 40 for a great power when you're already, when you're just, I'm just at, I'm straight strength ranked nine. I don't know how I'm strength rank nine because, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, these guys have three regions and they're strength ranked five, and they're fighting me, and they also have uh, a thing about great power. So I mean, I barely have anything. So I don't know how I'm considered strength ranked nine already. <sighs> um, so it's a bit, it's a bit annoying. Uh, let's see. I wish I could change my capital. That would make things so much easier. 
excuse me, so I'm, I'm trading with, um, with Illyria, which, um, oh yeah, and it's a funny thing, uh, my leader has died, so the, oh, who is even, okay, so, uh, the sister of the leader, not even the wife of the leader, um, is the one in in charge. She's a daughter of Bithymiris. So Erelewa is uh, the queen regent. And I kind of find it funny that I, I, I didn't show you guys here, but um, they don't have a female pictures for when a queen is in charge. Um, yeah, fix that, guys. Come on. Anyway, so apparently I'm a great power, nobody likes me, although I have nothing to show for that. Just because I captured a few territories. And, um... It's, I don't know. Yeah. It was kind of disappointing last episode, because I lost my faction leader without... Um, I didn't really pay attention to his unit, and that's my fault. But I had no idea that he was going to get killed. Um, and I didn't even get a message that he was getting killed. So, I went back and looked at the footage myself and was like, yeah, that was lame. Um, I didn't fight that fight very well either. Uh, yeah, so, I appreciate you guys watching this. Um, I am close to uh, working on the start of a new campaign. And it would most likely be the Danes. My uh, vote uh, for that um, campaign, you know, the, I had a faction vote video in a straw poll uh, setup and the votes came up a tie between the Burgundians and the Danes and oh, so yeah, it's like maybe they're grabbing some land down down there holy cow Uh, so that stonemason that I was like, yeah, I'll hire you. Uh, the man bends the knee before you. Then suddenly rushes at you with a blade in hand. One of your most trusted advisor gets between you and the assassin. Of course, me at this point is the queen regent. Uh, and he gave his life. And that was Edrica. And I was I just pulled Edrica from being a governor in Sirmium and made him a general. And now he died. And it's got to say this twice because it's that important. There's a political assassination. Um, and now he says it's he's in Sirmium. And he was only 30 and he was pretty good. Um, I will remember him. Uh, moment of silence. What the heck, people? Why are you tossing me those terrible junk chunks? Okay, so you have... I have enough influence. Oh my goodness, you know, it's gonna. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I was gonna use him as one of my main general. He was. I have another widow, she's 28. Um, I can probably arrange marriage for her with somebody. But I don't think. Would it cost, it would be influence cost for that dude, wouldn't it? But it's like, let me do. I mean, he's not married. This guy's a governor. Let's try. I don't think. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, so yeah, I think he used up his influence for uh, 
marriage instead. Instead of becoming a companion. Okay, well, I've said enough on, on that. Um, I'm hoping these guys just sack that town. Um, I need to hurry up and... Could recruit more Germanic spearmen, or perhaps. I don't know if these guys are really good. I guess be better than what I have. Um, I mean, better than not having them. So. Uh, the melee attack is crap, but they have some defense, so in that case... Let's see, armor 53, health 118. Uh, less health on the spearmen, but more attack. Less damage. I don't know, guys. I'll wait a second. Um, this place is fine with... Th uh, I need the force. I need this, these guys to stay here. Uh, what is this place? Sanitation. Okay, so we're gonna keep that bathhouse there. Okay. Yes. Let's just... Um, Let's go really close to the spy. I have a ton of onagers. It's just funny that that. I mean, the AI is supposed to be really, really good. Um, to the point where they can just destroy you. <laughs> so. I'm not surprised that they are attacking like this. I don't really like the fact that they're attacking me and not somebody else um and i don't i don't like the fact that that great power sort of um uh, influence in in diplomacy is already taking such effect oh no yes eggs getting their butt kicked on on water <laughs> It was probably a regular army, and that's that was the problem. The Yazikes are one of my only friends. Uh, don't know who those guys are. I missed their name flashing on the screen. Okay, so just cause or in pediment. Um, okay, so scandal. <laughs> Somebody has objected to the plain marriage. This dramatic turn of events must be rectified. Um. I kind of want her to be married. You know, I mean, the guy's younger and stuff, but who cares about that? I don't know. Uh, was he... Where was he governor at? I kind of... Uh, we're just gonna... I don't, I don't think I can afford to lose more influence with her. So we're gonna do the bribe. Um, let me check really quick. Hey, where are you? Okay, so he is... Talmatia Governor. Um, okay.
Alright, so at least he's not there where the um, war is happening. <laughs> I can try to assassinate some dudes. It's gonna cost a bit of money. Um, let's do it. Failure. Okay. Uh, I was hoping to ruin their day <laughs> a bit. So, the Quadians are there, the Illyrians not really helping. I think actually the... Yeah, it's neutral and deteriorating because of the great power influence. The day's greetings to you. Speak, for you have my attention as the ear... They won't even have an aggression. Alright. What can we do? What can we do? We're still saving money, are we? Ready for and you're probably yelling at me like, why am I not going to fight those off? There's two armies. I don't think... I don't think they can reinforce each other, but... Um... See, I can probably afford to. Ready for battle. Probably afford to move these guys. Levies. These guys are slingers. For the be of course, if I was to get everybody there, then I might have a fighting chance. Um, but, okay, so you're a governor, you're gonna want wolf and more food. We don't want to run out of food. I don't know, you guys, I don't know. You guys can, um, oh, there's a rebellion? I forgot about the rebellion part. <laughs> I didn't even see him until right now. Watch the calls. Right. Um, yeah, you guys can make suggestions. Help me out. Um, if I... If I attack the Cthulians in the east, then um, I'll have possibly... Uh, less forces close to home, um, and that might be a problem uh, from defending from anything else. But I'm not doing very much <laughs> as far as defending right now. So maybe I should attack in Italy. Kind of grab some land there that's close by. Um, matter of state tribute. Uh, Greetings, I have brought a gift for my people in order that we may improve relations. Vandalarius, okay. And, uh, uh, let's go. But where is it from? You know what? Uh, this, this from what happened last time. This sounds like a like something that can um, be bad, but I'm gonna accept the gift. Okay, should I have our queen regent marry somebody? I only have this Mundus guy. Oh, he's Mundus from like. Was that a? Elder Scrolls, something. I think it's the, the world of Mundus. Mundus Stones, you know, something. And he's got like no influence. But she does. Okay. Um, well, she got a ton of influence for marrying that guy.
Hmm. I'm kind of tempted. Let's just do it. Wundu sounds like a cool dude. Wundus. Mr. Spy. What's this? Equities. Warriors all! Ready for orders. Can we reach? We can reach. Uh, let's go here. Get moving. Is there nothing else? Let's attack. attack. Out. Okay, well now he's not in my land. And then next time... I can attack him. Put this guy in Thessalonica. Put this guy in... Scoopy. I really don't know what to do. I'm gonna run out of supplies soon. Uh, just... Where's my... Let's carry some strength. It's not bad. I have onagers on the wall. And I have some uh, Roman... And Germanic nobles. All right. Well, that kind of. Uh, just I don't know what to do. Hmm. If it was just one army. How far do you force march? We're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna do it. Thirsty for battle. For the tribe. Um. Fight with us. It's a good life. There we go. Fill that up. These guys could get some mercenaries next turn. And let's see if we can defend our our place. Let's see. Yeah, I don't really want to deal with the Eastern Romans. They have probably a, a bigger threat than many other nations, as far as military, uh, than with the Western Romans. Because, I mean, they still have a lot of armies. Um, the like the Huns, for example, they'll have like you know two or three horde armies running around that they're like they're like strong. But okay, they pulled away. What the hell? What retards? Hmm. Well, that's kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't. Know I don't know. Really know what to think about that. Maybe the AI, like, um, noticed that. Okay, so, mercenary commander. Mercenary commander passing through seeks an audience. He offers us his words of loyalty if we would be willing to pay up front to engage in faction politics. Noble marriage. Let no man tear asunder. These two have been successfully married. Sweet. So she married somebody that is an admiral and holy cow this guy is available now? Is he? When? 
When does he get to Vidimir? When do you when do you get to um actually what's this? Arjabaud, who are you? Why do you have a red thingy? Somebody trying to marry you off? There's another Mundus. Gasmus. Jismus. I don't know. This guy's a leader. Uh, yeah, I don't. Maybe he just gets a picture and then we'll get like actual. You know, stats. He has no stats yet. Cool, that's exciting. All right, Tulga, uh, a mercenary commander. Okay, so um, his troops could be useful. You know what? Sure, let's just accept accept that offer, whatever it is. Father, be praised. How can I help? Um. Let's go into Sirmium. Must be a bad winter because our um, our supplies are just I mean our money is just like bleh. Can we? Right, give him some morale and some. Morale. No, some public order. Because he might not be an admiral for very long. Ready for orders. We could definitely use him somewhere else. If if he's gonna be married to the Queen Regent, that's kind of all the episode has been about today, hasn't it? Just about the Queen Regent. So it's gonna take me forever to do anything here. Um, don't imagine. Father, be praised. How can I help? Okay, so this is not giving me any public order. <laughs> so annoying. So expensive to convert them, like 9,000 there. I mean, it, it costs like about the same money to take over a, a desolate place just a little bit more so is it worth it to just like take over desolate places when you have that money I don't know I think we might okay what are your governor uh, so let's give you more food we don't want to run out of food I don't know if you guys noticed but that's sort of the plan and um under the queen regent and you know she likes to have plenty of snacks at her table and uh, she will not have any food sh shortages of any kind that's that yay I think the next in the next investment I make. Oh, Ostrogoths are getting their butt kicked. The next investment I make into my PC hardware will have to be a video card. Um, are they just there because? I don't know. Okay, uh, so. Yeah, video card to make this game and other games run smoother. 
although it's still running pretty good, it's just not on like the highest uh, graphics. Um, Widemir has ascended to the throne. This is a momentous occasion. A boy has become a man and assumes his rightful place as ruler of our people. Long live the High King. I was just going to say long live the King, but it's the High King. Mission issued. Um, be at war with the final faction, Illyria. I don't know if I want to do that. I really don't know if I want to do that. Uh, okay. Food shortages resolved. Sometimes the best place to keep your wealth is in your person. Cool. So, greater is completed. Longobards are fighting the hunts. For the tribe. You shall no longer force march. So they're not in raiding stance. Um, Ready for battle. Cannot afford to leave this area just yet. Okay, let's look at what technologies we can do. Okay, we can do Chieftain's Hold, Warlord's Hold. And what's this? Okay. I'm just trying to, I'm just at the same time, I'm trying to see where my military is coming from. I think it's just that industry. So that would be good, and this would also be good. But I think we're okay on, on uh, food at the moment. So we're gonna go for that. Uh, and then when we have money, we should probably get this. Right? Okay, so I, I get it now. Here's the, here's the, whoa, sir, excuse me. The dilemma resolves. Was my here, so okay. Something like this will will um, allow units to be replaced by other units. So instead of like Germanic raiders, no, instead of mounted brigands, we'll get raiders. Um, we're gonna skip the boat one and look at Gothic warband, which will rep replace the Germanic warband. Germanic horsemen will replace the mounted warband, uh, and then Legio replaces cohorts. So. That's kind of how it is then, you have, um, I want to probably repair this, uh, yeah. So like this building is giving me warband, gothic warband and pikeman right now, but later that will be, sorry, it's Germanic and it will be gothic, right? One of those things. You know what? I've had enough. I've had enough of this today. Uh, we got we got nothing done. Uh, I need to find a way to make this. Um, okay, so those. That and this. Ready for orders. I need to grab those places. Cool. Uh, and this is doing okay. We still haven't built the granary here, so we might have problems with sanitation again. Uh, but we just don't have the money. Uh, let's do... Father be praised. How can I help? Let's do hinder army. It's too much money. Alright. So, um... Next episode, we are going to appoint the High King Widimir to something. 
uh, something great. He's now a statesman. We can gather support. Uh, because my control is at. Oh, well, it's fine. It's not too bad. I can seek a wife. Uh, I don't want to embezzle funds. Um, I can s become a retainer. But I don't know who to whom. I can adopt somebody. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, next episode we're gonna fo focus on Widimir. This time it was just about the Queen Regent, who now she is no longer Queen Regent. Um, so that's I'm gonna leave it to. I'm gonna leave it at this, but I need to make. I need to make people. Um, things. I need to point them to the offices. So companion. You guys can't be anything. You can be an elder. Uh, Mundus cannot be anything yet. And that's it. That's all. Our, that's all our people. Not not very good. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you next time. Please do hit the like button, comment, and if you're not subscribed and you enjoyed this episode and other things on my channel, please do subscribe. Take good care of yourselves and carry on right on. I'm trying to make up new sayings on the fly. It's not working. Alright. Bye. <laughs>